All right, fam, what is going on? So in this video, we're going to break down this one strategy, which is going to be like, it's, I have no words for it. All right. So this strategy is actually called gap up and go, but I'll teach you the exact way how you can spot this. If you know what you're doing, you can make a lot of money from this. I'll say this one more time. All right. You'll know which stock will have the highest volume. You'll know which stock will have the clearest trend and you'll know which stock will have most aggressive buying or selling pressure. All right. And this is going to be fun. So as a said as you can see right here nvidia above 445.75 i'm watching 455 calls might look good and that trade went up 40 percent. but nvidia is one of the strongest names today but why that actually worked right now one thing that i'm gonna break down is this gap up and go so this is friday's candle as you can see what happened here we were in a downtrend like look at this what's happening on this time frame right now on a daily time frame we're in a downtrend so we came lower bounced a little bit came lower we are making lower lows and lower highs but here we kind of tried to make a new higher high a little bit not so much but still a kind of high and broke above the pre like the structure failed you come up and right the structure is a little bit failed but that's still not the point why because this candle closed pretty bearish right so if you are a trader and you trade swing you do swing trading what's the number one thing that you're gonna look at here you're like gonna look at like oh my god this looks so good it formulated the perfect kind of reversal doji candle for from this little trend and it can kind of keep going in its original direction as it's going from last a month or so right this is the one thing that you're gonna think of right but as soon as the market opened let's go on a 60 minute chart as soon as the market opened this is what happened we gapped up like we started gapping up right like think about this for a minute all right on a daily time frame next candle opened up this is what's happening right now it opened up it gapped up so what does that mean for us so that means a lot of people who went short yesterday they are like oh my god how come this is gapping up this is not supposed to gap up this is supposed to go down when the direction of a red candle right this is a one very good source that i'm going to give you if this is a red candle this is the direction of a red candle downside and they're expecting it to open even more lower but instead after a huge red candle when everyone's expecting the move to be downside it gapped up that means it gapped above the supply uh, above the supply zone it's gapping up right now so that means it can push higher if it decided to push right which is exactly what happened today look at this five minute chart what happened as soon as the market opened right here it gapped up right and now everybody's expecting all these people are expecting oh my god like i'm screwed like what the heck is going on right so now it broke the pre-market high we didn't enter it pushed higher we didn't enter we waited patiently for a pullback and then a pullback came like this is where the pullback came and after a pullback we want to wait for our entry right and for if you know me as a trader i like to enter uh, when a previous candle high breaks especially after a pullback right so now we clearly see that there's a strong trend for first 15 minutes very strong trend let's turn on the 8 ema for a minute 8 EMA right here. Let's turn on the VWAP right here. Beautiful, all right? So it pulled back to the VWAP and the 8 EMA, gave us a nice entry. I entered roughly around here and I said it can head to 450 and we were trading live on the voice and head to 450. Now, what's the point to be taken home from this? The reason how we know that it's going to be high volume trend, it's going to be high volume stock, plus it's going to have a clear trend and the most aggressive buying or selling pressure, it's only because of the daily chart. The daily chart showed us that it is going to be like a week, it's going to dump like this day, right? You're going to dump, but instead it gapped up. So that simply tells us the gap is in other direction of what they were expecting. That simply tells us this can pretty much push. Okay. Makes sense. I hope this makes sense a little bit because this has literally been one of the things which have made me a lot of money over the years. And yeah, this, this is, this is a good stuff. All right. I hope you enjoy. Hey, let me know what you like about this um, down in the comments. All right. Talk to you soon. Peace.